let's just push on through. Yeah. That's a gate. Who done the gate? Happy with that? I am. Yeah. All right. Should we put this? Should we put this bit of wire up? I'll show you some fencing. I was going to move all this shit. I guess I'm not now. All right, Max. Let's see. So what we're going to want to do is run from that from that pole over there to uh, to here, maybe around the corner. Um, we want to run our our netting. So what we'll do, we'll grab it, we'll roll it out. That's the wide one at the top. Let's go and work this out, Mags. This is for you. Yeah, this is for you. We want to start down this end, I think. Roll it out. See how far we get. Alright, so you just hang on here for a minute. I'll go and get some fencing tools. Me and Mags will. See if we can knock this fence up. Alright, we've got some tools now. Let's go over here though. Let's roll this out. You know, you got to watch out when you're doing fencing. You don't get poked in the eye. There you go. Let's chuck something on here. Hold on, hold on. Come on for the ride. All right. Wait, we got caught up. <laughs> Gotta be careful with the square mesh when you when you're dealing with gates. They like to stick their head through. <laughs> and uh, all the grass is always greener, right? And. Uh, you're always getting their, their horns unstuck. Yeah. So you're towards the end of a roll here, obviously, because it doesn't want to doesn't flow out. We might have enough. You can have enough. Oh. oh, man. Oh, what do we got here? Uh, I'm doing this one-handed, you know, eh? Oh, what do we got going on? Everything's still caught in these. See, at some stage we want to... Um, you can either tension a fence in the middle or at the ends. Now we're going around a corner here and it's just a short little run so I'm thinking I might try and tension it at the end. Ah, you just hold on up here. Can you hold on? Don't fall eh? I tell you what, it'll be so close, I reckon that's gonna make it. There we go, we get around the corner, we're gold. Shit, I was gonna put a top and bottom wire on here too, eh? I will just get it done. We'll <laughs> just get it done. Don't need to have a top and bottom wire, but I always like to. You can pin it down to it, you know. Alright. Alright, so you guys will be able to watch over here. Don't look into the sun. This is the tricky part, you know, like people will say, why did you put the gate on first? 
Well, I wanted to know where these were going to be. You know, just in case the wires were right where I wanted to put the gate, you know. I can shift this thing around a little bit. Watch your eyes when you're doing fencing. You should really have safety glasses on. Yeah, you get poked in the eye. Pretty easy. Wire flicks around. You couldn't mind them saying. Achieve something today. Be quite nice out here. Hmm. Yeah. Getting back to a job. Job that you started 18 months ago, eh? <laughs> I didn't intend to. I was looking out here to cut a bit of grass and tidy it up because it looked feral. Oh well. Sometimes you just got to go with the flow. Sometimes the universe tells you what you need to do. Clean your f***ing act up. <laughs> yeah. Your dog wants a playpen. One with, you know, complete with snakes and, and ticks and everything, you know. That's what she wants. And she want a playmate. You know, dogs always like to be hanging out with other dogs. If that works. I should just call the channel Jim Bob. Hey Jim Bob, that's how it works. <laughs> I'm full of shit, I know. Ah, uh, you're gonna make it up sometimes. That's how real shit happens. Well, that sci-fi stuff from the from the old, you know, Get Smart and, and Star Wars and stuff like that, if people didn't make it up, it wouldn't become real life, you know what I mean? Who knew that holograms were going to be a thing back in 74 or 76 or whatever it was when, when George Lucas made bloody Star Wars? How many things have happened? Just because um, someone had an idea, ideas. What are ideas? Do you know that there's a whole lot of philosophers working on what ideas are? What ideas mean? All these five different phases of it. People back in the 1800s, 1900s, a couple of Scottish fellas. They're researching the brain and trying to come up with what ideas were. Apparently that makes Makes a difference between us and animals, eh? Or something. I don't know. I like that. I'm just a humble mechanic. That's what I tell people. That I'm humble. <laughs> no one believes that. Alright. No one got poked in the eye. We're good. Alright, so we're going to go round that side and come back through. I'll show you my special knot. Ray Aramayana taught me this one. This is a proper job, eh? It's hard to get right. Right. Alright. Let's see. Let's see if I can show you. 
Let me let me do one. Let me do one. And uh, I'll see if I can get it down before I show you. Uh, uh, yeah. I'll try and get this nice and even. Yeah. Okay. Under and back up, so I'm doing a knot. Sort of doing a knot. Yeah. You can smell that white looking grease. Yeah. Alright. I'm trying not to get a bend on it just yet. I'm trying to keep it fluid. Once I get a kink, it's going to be where it is, you know what I mean? Nice and tight, come on, come on, come on, there we go. Making this look hard. Alright. Uh, yeah, I don't think we need it quite that long. I'll take a bit off there. Just so I can spin it around a bit easier. Let me, let me show you what I've done here. Alright, so it's not bad this one. So I've gone around and back in without getting a kink in it. I'm back under, and now I'm going to come back here, try and get it. You see that? Yeah. Right, that's it. Just don't fall on your head, alright? Okay. I need sort of like four or five turns here, tight turns, close tight turns. Little tools you can get to do this, but Now, if I could get them all pretty much like that, I'm f***ing wrapped. I'll be wrapped. That's that one. <clears throat> it's going to want to stay down here, just off just off the ground, just out of the rust zone, you know, so it can't get wet. Um, so, yeah, an inch off the ground there, that'll be right. Let's see how high we can pull this other one. We're up here. That's that's where we are. Here we go. Once again. Maggie, are you up there? Dingoes come from up there. Dingo. Yeah, so have a look. It's not as good as that other one, you know. It's all right. Once that, once that gets a bit of tension on, she'll be um, she'll be good. I tell you, I just watched Death Proof today. I was Quentin Tarantino movie. I just realised I have actually seen it before, but isn't it funny how some movies are just I wouldn't say forgettable. I wouldn't say forgettable, I would say blankable. No, I'm gonna wipe that one out. I'm gonna car, I'm a car guy, you know I'm a car guy. And it was a whole big movie homage to car guys and stunt guys and Car movies. Tell you what, a lot of people wouldn't have got. There's a, there's a little part in the movie where he was going to fire it under sea for chicken shit. 
And do you, did you see American Graffiti? I'll see if I can get that little bit and I'll, I'll stick that there. Found it under uh, CS over there. CS, what's that stand for? Chicken shit, that's what it is. And uh, found it under ch C for chicken shit. <laughs> I think that might have been little Joni, you know, like from um, Happy Days as a little young girl. Yeah. Yeah. She's riding around in cars with boys. That's an auto maybe. <clears throat> but uh, <laughs> I don't think uh, a lot of people wouldn't have got that. For some reason, that part of that movie, American Graffiti, stuck with me all through the years. What are you going to file that under? Even if I don't say it, I think it. Someone says, what are you going to file that under? It'll be C for chicken shit. Now you're wondering how we're going to tension this up, aren't you? Yeah. Oh, I'm, no, I'm not worried. I know how to do it. There's a few ways you can do it. A few ways. Well, one of the ways might just mean that we won't be doing it today. Let's go down and find a couple of sheets of plywood. Not sheets, but a couple of planks. Even planks would do. A couple of little short well, planks this long, a few bolts together, bolted together, and put it, putting something on it so that I can get mm, ratchet straps and tie it onto something, pull it tight. Because you can always cut it in the middle, do the straining thing, but it's unnecessary to um, have all those extra joins and stuff like that and then the mesh can get sort of out of shape and stuff um, the last one I did here with the mesh I did it uh, I did a uh, oh, come on, come on, play nice I, I cut it in the middle and did the did the joiners. Um, there was tensioning the joiners. You just put the wire strainers on, pull them up wire by wire, and they, you know, they pull it. They just uh, I could put the wind up ones on. That would be a that would be not a bad one. Quite like that idea. You can always go and retension it later without having to get the um, the old wire strainers out. Let's not worry about this one. Don't look at this one. Yeah, no, don't look at that one. So we'll come back and we'll nip some of those off afterwards. That's, eh, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. I've done worse. Yeah, we'll tidy that up afterwards. Right, so let's go and see Make sure we've got something at the other end to be able to pull up. Make sure we haven't yanked it along or something. Yeah, we got plenty there. We got plenty. So. Well. Got a star picket over there. We could actually um, tie a ratchet strap onto, because that one doesn't come out of the ground. So if we got down low enough. That might be all right. 
and a ratchet strap, so yeah, uh, okay. Look, uh, you just hang here for a minute. I'll go and get a couple of planks. See if we can get this job done, eh? Alright. We're going to take that one out of there, put that in there. Put this one here and here. Can have a look? What we got? Got a couple of planks here. And all we're going to do, sandwich that. Sandwich that. Uh, that, yeah. In between these couple of planks. So, I don't know if this one's long enough, but we'll just get it through here. Uh, yeah, yeah, that'll be close. All right, uh, that'll be close. How much will that pull up? Let's go back here a bit just in case. Otherwise, we'll have to readjust, you know. Uh, yeah, all right. I'm gonna stick this one here on there. I would normally do this with, um. I would normally do this with bolts and washers, but you know, let's just get it done. Now we just need a ratchet strap. Okay, let's go. Come on, gotta get a ratchet strap. I know where they is. Wait. Alright, jobba. Let's just grab it and go, eh? This looks good. Alright, let's go. Up. Let's see if we can get this fence done for you. It's for you. You happy? Alright, let's go. Watch this. <laughs> That's how we do it, eh? <laughs> Redneck door closer. <laughs> that was funny. I thought it was funny. Here, Max. <laughs> Are we gonna make it? <laughs> Are we gonna make it? <laughs> well, that would be a hard no, you know, because we gotta get to there. But let's put a bit of rope on. Yeah, let's put a little rope on and get a little bit of triangle action yeah Mags where'd you put the rope now what are we gonna do just stand back and watch this this will be safe as a church in Rotoria it's an old joke we're losing a bit of light let's see how we go mate That's pretty good, eh? Now yeah, we gotta do the same. I think I do need a top and bottom wire, though. What do I want more? That's not bad. Oh, it's E-flat really, isn't it? I can play a song on that. It's 
It's going to need a few posts. But... Go around the other side and have a look. It's pretty... Not bad. You know, not bad. Tell you what, I think I'll go with it. I'll put the top and bottom wire on. And then I can really stretch it between the two, you know. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. That's not bad. Can we make that work? Yeah, we can make that work, eh? Hey? We can, can't we? Yeah, it's pretty tight. We'll go with it. Ha, 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 ha.